If you haven't heard, they're talking about a 50 year mortgage. 50 years, that's wild. Let's talk about 30 year fixed compared to a 50 year fix. What's right for you, should you do it? I believe there's no such thing as a bad loan. There's just bad loans for bad situations. Yes, I'm wearing a beanie and a sweatshirt in my own house because I don't believe in heaters. See this right here? We don't touch that. Just because a 50 year is 50 years doesn't mean it's bad, right? It could be good for you. Let's take a look. Let's figure out what makes sense for you as the consumer. Comparing the two loans, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a $500,000 house, we're gonna put $100,000 down, and we're gonna take an interest rate of 6.5%. Now, for disclosure purposes, I gotta quote an APR. So let's just say the APR on the 30 year is gonna be 6.6, .6, and the APR on the 50 year is gonna be 6.58. So as you can see, the payment on the 30 year fixed is gonna be $2,528.27. However, the payment on the 50 year is $2,254.87. That's a difference of $273.40 per month. Now, some of you might say that's not enough. Some of you might say that's a big difference. So again, to each his own, right? It's up to you whether that, that makes sense. Now, what is it gonna cost you because it's over 50 years instead of 30 years? So if you look here, you can see the total difference in interest between the two loans. So on the 30 year, you're gonna pay over $510,000 of interest. However, <laughs> on the 50 year, you're going to pay $952,000 plus. That's a difference of $442,000 of interest over the life of the loan. Now, agreed, no one keeps their mortgage for 30, 50 years. That, I mean, not no one, but it's pretty rare, right? So keep in mind, yes, it's a huge difference, but if you're a first time home buyer and the most common question I get from them is, what's the most I can afford? This might be an avenue for you to take, right? So to wrap up, again, there's no such thing as a bad loan. The 50 year fixed is going to allow some people to buy more affordable housing or buy a more expensive house because the payment is going to be lower so you can qualify for it. However, you are going to pay a higher premium of interest on that loan over the course of 50 years. So while it's good to get the house and be in the 50 year payment, it is in your best interest to pay down that mortgage as quickly as possible. Okay.